In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 to your TV. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you'll be alerted every time you post new videos. Today, we're going to walk you through how to mirror your Samsung Galaxy Note 20 to your TV. And we're gonna show you a few different ways to do this. So with this phone, you are able to connect a cable. So if you were to purchase a Type-C to HDMI cable, you can easily plug in one end to the bottom of your phone in that Type-C charging port at the bottom there. And you plug in the other end to your TV and make sure you switch your TV to the input that that HDMI is connected to and it will easily begin to mirror your phone screen to your TV. Now that is the easiest way to do this. You will not need Wi-Fi to do it. That will just work. And I will leave a link below in the description of a few of those cables you can purchase to make that happen. So that is the first way. The second way is if you have a smart TV, all you need to do is simply make sure your smart TV was connected to Wi-Fi and on your phone, you're gonna just swipe down, swipe down again, and look for the smart view icon right here, and tap on that, and look for your TV in the list here of other devices, and the TV will show up, and you just simply tap on the device, and then it'll ask you if you wanna mirror your screen to the TV, and once you tap that button, it will automatically show what's on your phone on the TV. Now, I have a smart TV, but it's a very old smart TV, so it is not compatible with that version of smart view. So the third option, or there's a third and fourth option, but they're kind of the same thing, which is to use a Chromecast or a Roku to mirror your screen of the TV. So I'm gonna show you how to do this with a Chromecast or Roku. I'll leave links below in the description if you need to get one to make this work. This is the way I like to do it. It just seems to be one of the fastest ways. And again, I want to upgrade my TV, but I'm not ready to do it yet. So this way just kind of solves uh, that issue temporarily. To do this, uh, you will need home Wi-Fi, HDTV, and you will need a Chromecast or Roku device. We'll leave links below in the description for that as well. So what we're gonna do here is make sure we um, switch our TV Okay, so once your uh, TV is switched to the input your Chromecast or Roku is plugged into, what you're gonna do is swipe down from the top of the screen here, swipe down again, and go to Smart View. Now I'm gonna show you the Chromecast option first, just because with the Chromecast, it will allow you to do a little bit more than the Roku. So let's go ahead and go to Chromecast TV, hit Start Now. Hit change. And now, there you go, you'll see your phone is being mirrored right to your TV. And this is a full mirror, so whatever is happening on your phone is gonna automatically show up on the TV, which is great. So this is great if you have like pictures or video from a trip or something you wanna show a lot of people, you can just send it right to the TV. And don't worry, when you take your phone and rotate it sideways, it is going to rotate as well and give you a full screen view. This is also great if you're trying to show gameplay in a room full of people, you can just mirror the whole screen. But if you're trying to play videos, this isn't necessarily the best way to do it. So let's go ahead and close it out. So swipe down from the top and look where it says casting screen and with two fingers swipe down and tap disconnect and that will stop it from mirroring the screen to the TV. So. If you're just trying to mirror a video from your phone to the TV, the best way to do this is to open the video first. So let's say I go to YouTube and I wanna show a YouTube video on the TV. I would go here, then I would find the video that I wanna play. Let's go to one of our videos, obviously. And if I wanna show this on the TV, right here it says, watch on TV, it went away. But you tap on this little cast icon, and tap on your Chromecast. And just that easy, it's gonna now send that video to the TV. You can control the volume with your phone. 
But the best way about this is that now I can go home and continue to use my phone to do other things while the video continues to play on the TV. So this is a great way for you to mirror that video, watch it for a room of people, but still have full uh, access to your phone to do whatever you need to do. You can always swipe down from the top. You can pause the video from here if you want. You can also use two fingers to swipe down and you can move to a different point in the video like that. Hit play to get it going again. And then if you're ready to just stop it all together, hit the X and that will close it out. So that is the easiest way to mirror your screen to the TV. Now with Roku, it's again, almost the exact same process. The only difference is that when you find the Roku in your list, when we tap on Smart View, you'll see your Roku device here. And when you tap on it, the Roku will bring up a screen that will ask you to approve the device first. And all you have to do is take your Roku remote and just tap, I approve of this device, and then it will mirror the screen. That's it. So process is very similar. There's just one extra step. So. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.